The formation of an electrochemical double layer around a particle is explained as follows. If a particle of a size greater than one nanometer is dispersed in water, there will be a reaction at the solid-liquid interface. Both parts, the solid and the liquid part, carry different energy levels, which lead to a tension at their interface once they get into close contact. Basically, all substances intrinsically carry a negative surface charge once they are dispersed in water. This is caused by the high dielectric constant of water. Generally speaking, media with a lower dielectric constant carry an anionic surface charge. Water contains ions of dissolved salts. Attracted by the surface charge, these ions gather around the particle. A well-ordered and immovable layer covers the surface of the particle like a skin. This layer is also called the stationary layer, or stern layer. Cationic ions neutralize the anionic surface charge. However, as ions are often surrounded by water molecules, they are rather big and cannot neutralize the surface charge completely. A residual anionic charge remains. This remaining anionic charge attracts further ions from the surrounding water so that a second layer develops around the particle. This layer is further away from the particle's surface. The attractive force of the anionic charges get weaker with the distance, and therefore this second layer is less ordered and movable. The second layer is called diffuse layer or gui chapman layer, and is colloquially often termed cloud of counter ions. The boundary line between the stationary and the diffuse ions is a shear plane. The potential at this boundary line is called stern potential or streaming potential. If the diffuse ions are displaced from the particle they surround, a potential difference is created and can be measured.